Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been absolutely loving doing these tutorials and today I thought I would do something a little bit different and do a Kim Kardashian inspired hair tutorial. So I absolutely loved the look that she had at the Balmain show earlier this year where she had that swept back hair look. And what I liked about it is that it wasn't exactly a slick back hair, which we've seen a lot now. The slick back hair is really straightened and you know, close to the head and a lot of the time there's a wet look to it. It's a really intense kind of vibe. Whereas this was like the newer, cooler version where it's like you didn't try that hard but it still looks really awesome and it's got waves in it. There's a lot more bounce and a lot more volume. So that's what I'm gonna try and achieve today. All right, so let's get going. First thing I'm gonna do is prep my hair and I'm gonna prep it with some mousse towards my roots because I really want a lot of volume and lift here and some BB cream towards the mid length and ends because I really want it soft and bouncy and almost weightless. So I'm going to get a fair bit of that and pop it through the mid lengths and ends. Oh and if you're interested in what products I'm using I'm going to have them all listed down below so just check the comment section and you'll find what you need. And then at the same time I'm going to get some push-up volume mousse and massage that in towards my roots. Now I'm going to blow dry this with my hair flipped over, so I'll be back in a second. <sighs> Alright, now I'm just going to brush through that. Okay, so now I've got nice, light, kind of bouncy feeling hair. And the first thing I want to do is put a couple of waves in it. So I'm going to use a really big, I think this is a 30 millimeter curling iron. And I just want to put a couple of curls in. So I'm going to split my hair into two halves and just do a couple of curls towards the back on each side. So pin that top half away and probably just split this into four and curl backwards. Okay, so you can see I've got some really loose waves there just in the bottom part and I'm just going to get a light spritz of strong hold hairspray to let those set. Now I'm going to do exactly the same thing in the top part. Now don't really worry about getting right up into the roots because we're going to be pushing that back and kind of straightening it towards the back anyway. So you really just want the wave kind of starting halfway down the hair. So I'm just going to for ease, part this down the middle and clip this bit away and do the same thing with these pieces. Okay, so now we have some really loose waves all over my head. I'm just going to give that another quick spritz and now we're actually going to push it back. I'm just going to run my fingers through it like this and then I'm going to grab a straightener and just straighten these pieces towards the back a little bit. Just at the root there. Just kind of do that a little bit. Now make sure you don't go all the way because you want to keep those waves at the back. You just want this front bit to be naturally leaning towards the back. Okay, and then now what I'm going to do is tease the roots of my hair up the top here. Now a lot of people just kind of go at the front, but I actually want a fair bit of volume here at this bit of my head, so that's where I'm going to start. So, I'm just gonna move this out of the way for a moment. I'm gonna put a little bit of this volume powder right here. sure not to really pull out the waves at the bottom too much. On the side here I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to make it tease towards the back so it's all kind of leaning backwards rather than straight down. And now I'm just going to keep doing that, teasing my head all the way back. Okay, 
And now, I'm just gonna with a loose brush, brush the top of this. And that's it. So that's how easy it is. As you can see, this is the final result. It looks like I've just been hit with a big gust of wind in the face, um, but there's some nice waves and some texture at the back there. It's not too stiff, which means it's nice and easy going. And all we need now is a super fierce white outfit. So I'll be back in a sec. All right, fierce white outfit, check. Nude matte lip, check. Swept back hair, check. I think we're good to go. Let me know what you guys think about this look. I hope you enjoy it. I absolutely love it and I'm gonna do this a lot more often, I think, just to mix up my look a little bit more. So, can't wait to see you guys next time.